some of the last people to see little Jordan alive. Daycare workers say that he was a happy, healthy little boy who never quit smiling. Lord, please let them find the right person that did this to Jordan because I felt like it wasn't a mother. Barbara Griffin works at Miss Charlotte Webb's daycare center in Flint. This is where she says she would help take care of five month old Jordan Algy Jr. She was devastated when she heard he died on Sunday. And he had a special little smile, like she just said, you know, and he was uh, uh, just a healthy little boy. You know, he was strong in his limbs. So you could tell he wasn't nothing wrong with Jordan. And then when they was telling me about him, I just was really shocked. Jordan's 23 year old mother, Tamara Reed and 19 year old Rico Riggs were charged today with their involvement in Jordan's death. Police say the cause of death was blunt force trauma. Child abuse in the first degree. Murder one Jordan Demarion LG Jr. During her arraignment today, Reed told the court that she had left the child for a short time. Finding him unresponsive. <laughs> Center is now trying to raise money to help with little Jordan's funeral expenses. I can't imagine. I couldn't imagine getting up and picking myself up in the morning time after burying a child. So I just encourage everybody to reach out, pray for them, and donate something. Though investigators are not saying what they believe happened, Rico Riggs, who police say was Tamara Reed's significant other, is facing a murder charge and a charge of first degree child abuse. Reed is charged with third degree child abuse and lying to police. Oh man, I hate that. I hate to hear that. That's sad. And today in court, we found out that Riggs is facing life in prison and Reed, the boy's mother, is facing 21 years. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here was requested by quite a few of my subscribers and it comes out of Flint, Michigan, where we have a man who decides to kick the, a five month old, yes, a grown ass man who decides to kick a five month old baby in the head just because the baby, trifling ass mom, decided to be a whore and keep texting ex-boyfriends and having them come over while this guy was gone whatever he was doing in the streets or at work or whatnot but she was basically caught cheating texting other guys and all this over cheating text messages and is this worth a five month old baby's life for the mom instead of being worried about her newborn child basically five months old newborn almost why shouldn't you be more concerned about your newborn child than some more wood in the streets but this goes to show you that man look it's a crazy world. You're dealing with crazy people and they do not give a damn. Now, that's no reason. That's not no excuse for this man to kick this child in the head just because the mammy. Yes, the mammy. Because it's not a mom. Just because the mammy. Because if she was a mom, the baby would still be alive and this video would never exist. So, therefore, she's a mammy because she put her child last when she decided to put all these other guys first. And this is a common recurrence that we always see. Why go be in a relationship with these crazy ass street dudes and you know they crazy. So why go be in a relationship with them and then sit up here and do things knowing that this person gonna act out in some kind of way. Now I'm pretty sure that she didn't think that he was gonna kick the five month old baby. Probably just thought that he was gonna choke the shit out of her ass or grab her ass or whoop her ass. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. She, she couldn't have known that he would have kicked the child and shame on him for doing that. And he's going to get his sh sure enough when he hit that penitentiary, especially when you're on the yard and they find out you were never killing a baby. But anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely as we go, Jordan Algie Jr. Fast facts about five months old baby kicked to death by mom's boyfriend after he caught her texting other men. Now, why would the mom be texting other men? You know why? Because evidently, you know what I'm saying? A, number one, she's very promiscuous, very hoish. Or number two, she didn't like the guys that she was with. But if that's the case, let him go and then try to find somebody else. See, people do this relationship thing backwards and they wonder why a travesty and a death comes to their door. And sometimes it can't be avoided, true enough, but this could have been avoided. Get rid of this crazy ass dude that you got. And then if you want to see these other guys, then you go do that. But it's it's kind of strange that she was texting the ex-boyfriends had other men coming over to her home. So evidently, they didn't give a damn about you. And evidently, this guy cared a little bit, but he didn't give a damn neither. Because if he did, why did he kill your damn child? Why he kick your child in the head and kill the child? 
That's sad. I mean, some people these days do not have any morality, no spirituality, nothing. You can look in their eyes and tell they're just soulless. There's no life in them. Now, an infant's death in Michigan has made headlines and shocked the nation after a boyfriend of the child's mother was found responsible. Now, this guy got with this woman, not before she was pregnant, because most likely if he did, she would have had his child. But this goes to show you the nature of some women. You wait till your child is five months old, then go get a new man. You just had a baby by another man. I don't understand that concept right there. And then they find themselves in these situations where you need to take our time and focus on number one, yourself, and number two, your child. Focus on y'all becoming a union and growing together. And wait for the most high. Wait for God to send you somebody. But I forgot people don't believe in God no more like they used to. And plus, they don't want to wait for anything. They want that microwave love, instant gratification. Now, five-month-old Jordan Algae Jr. was pronounced dead after suffering blunt force trauma to his vital organs. 19-year-old Rico Antonio Riggs, sound like a baby abuser, has been arrested and charged in connection with the child's death. 19 looked 29,000 uh, in a damn face. The boy's 23-year-old mother, she's 23, he's, he's 19, go figure, and have a five-month-old baby. So what can a 19-year-old do for you? And no offense to the 19-year-olds that are watching my channel, but what can a 19-year-old do for you? You're 23 years old. You got a five-month-old baby. He can't even take care of his damn self. What the hell can he do for you except for drop off some wood? And that's what a lot of them basically really want these days. Just some damn sex and some government hands out. But, hey, Trump changing all that shit. Now, the boy's 23-year-old mom, Tamara Shanice Reed, sound like somebody who's messed up in the head, was not at the home when the crime was committed. But she is also facing charges for trying to help cover up Riggs' involvement in the murder of her child. She wasn't at home. All she had to do just tell the truth. Because guess what? Just because she did have uh, men over her house, it didn't matter she had 30,000 or 10, 15, you cannot go kill the baby. You feel me? No matter if that's your wife and that's your child. You still can't go kill the woman. So you doing that was an injustice, number one, to the child and also to yourself because you lost either way it goes. Now, you going to prison for life and she's probably get a, she going to probably get a little time tempering with evidence, all kinds of other little shit. You know what I'm saying? Lying and stuff. But it's not going to amount up to the time that you get for that murder. Think about that. So was it worth it in the end? I'm sure it wasn't. But she basically tried to cover up this guy's involvement in the murder of her own child. That goes to show you how messed up some of these people is. You do something to anything I love, anything I love, and with malice like that, I can see an accident. Accident, that's an accident. But with malice, oh, hell no, there's no more love for you. The gloves coming off. You feel me? I might be the one to get you before them police get you. But anyway, let's continue. Now, here are some things we need to know about the murder of George Algie Jr., Rico Riggs killed baby Jordan Algie Jr. over text messages he found in Tamira Reed's phone. Killed the poor child basically over some damn stupid, funky-ass sexual text messages that he found in the in baby's mammy phone. Yeah, mammy. Now, according to authorities, Tamira Reed's boyfriend, Rico Riggs, severely injured five-month-old Jordan Algie Jr. after she left him alone with the child at the home to get the baby snacks from the store. Reed left her phone behind and Riggs found text messages that made him fly into a rage and they don't tell him what them text messages said. Ain't no telling what them text messages said. Girl, that thing was good last night and, 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 and Riggs probably was uh, over at his other girlfriend house or, or at his brother house or his grandma house or his, or his mama house. And he was reading them text messages and I, I, he just flew into a fit of rage reading Ooh, girl, that thing was good last night. You know it was good. Or, ooh, girl, you 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 act like I thought you were 70 years old, like you didn't have no teeth in your mouth. Ooh, you gave, you gummed me down. You feel me? Stuff like that would make a man lose his mind. You feel me? So, no telling what he found in there. He probably found the one that really made him flip out. You was loose as a goose. Now, if he found that right there, I'm sure anybody find that, boy, you might tear the roof off a house. Let's continue. Riggs initially lied to police and told them Reed's other child, her daughter, Nala, was responsible for the infant's deadly injuries. So he not only killed the child, but then he going to blame it on the other child. So quite, you know, one is led to believe and think that he would have did something to the other child too, Nala too. I mean, for him to sit there and lie on the child, I mean, that's that's very suspect. And why did he... Why Why did he kill, number one, why you killed any one of them, but why you killed the five-month-old, but you left the other child? I don't understand that concept neither. Now, after giving several different accounts of his story, Riggs later admitted he kicked the child over 
text messages in Reed's phone that showed she had been in contact with her ex-boyfriends. How can you sit there and read a message, look at a baby, and get so angry inside? They ain't nothing but the devil. Yeah, the demonic spirits. Get that mad inside when you kick a child. And people going to make excuses for that shit. I'm not going to make no damn excuse for no damn child abuse or somebody who murdered a, a damn child. Okay, if you kick the child or pinch the child to death. Death is death. Now, let's continue this. He says, I lost control, spazzed out, and kicked the baby. Detective Brett Orvis told a judge Reed admitted to him. Riggs also admitted to police he was mad because the exes had been over the house when he wasn't there. That goes on a lot of places. A lot of people might be right now chilling with their uh, side chick or with their side dude. Right now, they probably clicked the video off because I don't remind them of it, but that's fine, though. But at the same time, I mean, hell, you know, I mean, plenty of side people meet up and watch my video because they say it makes them laugh and make them come closer together to the other person <laughs> come back home. But let's continue. Riggs also admitted to police he was mad because the ex he found out was cheating with several guys from the area. Wow, I mean, she was giving that thing away like government cheese. He had found out that they were coming over when he wasn't there. He didn't know their names. He said he found out by going through her phone. Orvis testified, according to ABC 12 News. Detective Orvis also testified that the baby began crying when Riggs aggressively attacked him. Of course the child gonna cry. Hell, you kick me in my damn head, I might cry after I get off your ass. But anyway, now he got upstairs and went upstairs angry, Orvis said. That's when he spazzed out and kicked the covers, losing control. Jordan was laying in the blankets that he kicked. As soon as he kicked the covers, Jordan immediately began crying. The infant was pronounced dead at the hospital. ABC News report when Reed returned home from the store, she found the baby injured and screaming. She allegedly rubbed his stomach and was screaming before taking him to McLaurin and Flint Hospital because he was having trouble breathing. Done, done just messed this child up. When the baby arrived at the hospital, doctors at first thought he was dead. He was then received and was immediately transported to Hurley Medical Center where he died of his injuries on March 25th. An autopsy showed his cause of death was blunt force trauma, which means the child was basically beat, had broken ribs, probably had a concussion to the head and all that in a B5 months old. That is so sad. Now, Lieutenant Mike Lasky with Mount Morris Township Police told WNEM the baby died after something struck the child, impacting the organs. Kick, kick, just probably just hauled off and just kicked that child right in the chest. The autopsy reports indicate the baby was killed by blunt force trauma. Janice County Prosecutor David Layton said, Both Reed and Riggs are facing serious charges in jail time. Tamara Reed's boyfriend, Rico Riggs, has been charged with felony murder, first degree child abuse, first degree child abuse committed in the pressure of another child, tampering with evidence, and intimidating a witness. Reed was charged after she was convinced by Riggs to lie about his involvement in the murder of her own child. She was charged with tampering with evidence, lying to a police officer conducting a violent crime investigation, being an accessory after the fact of a felony and third degree child abuse. The investigation has led us to Rico Riggs as the person who inflicted these injuries and caused the baby's death. The mother also has been charged as an accomplice after the fact and for attempting to throttle the lawful police investigation, Janice County Prosecutor Dayton Layton told WNEM. If convicted, Reed could face up to 21 years in prison. Riggs faces a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole if he is convicted of the most serious charges. And guess what? He's going to get it, too. He's going to get it. You face life in prison over this girlfriend, a so-called girlfriend, which really a jump off, that you was cheating with. I already had one child, got another child, and she's already seen different men. She probably didn't even know who the kid's baby daddy was. So here you is going away for life. She faces up to 21 years. Most likely she's going to get 15 or 20. She's going to be out. Guess what? You're going to be in there still locked up and she's still going to do her thing. Let these women go. But at the same time, he need to be dealt with because he took that child life. Now, if he would have just walked on by his business and let her go, go get somebody else better or be by yourself. I mean, everything would have worked out. He wouldn't be facing life in prison. Wouldn't be no video. Wouldn't be none of this. But this is what happened when you lose control. That's why the moral of the story of this is number one. Mingle, mess with the right people. Be around, associate with the right people. And also, if something happened, keep your composure. Don't get overly emotional. Keep your control. Don't lose control. Because once you lose control, 
you allow you you're liable to do anything, especially in the heat of the moment. But if Reed, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if convicted Reed could face up to 21 years in prison, Reed faced a mandatory sentence of life. Wow. Now, the daycare worker said that Jordan was a healthy baby with a special smile. Barbara Griffin, an employee at Charlotte's Web Child Care and Learning Center in Flint, told reporters that she was shocked to hear the news about baby Jordan. He has a special little smile. He was just a healthy little boy, Griffin said. He was very strong in his limbs. There's nothing wrong with Jordan. They were telling me what happened. I was so shocked. Another daycare worker told WNEM, I couldn't imagine getting up and picking myself up in the morning time after burying a child. I mean, it's, 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 very, it's very sad. But also, the last thing. Now, Reed posted on Facebook several times about her son's death. Before her arrest, Reed wrote on Facebook about suffering deeply over her son's death. He gone. My baby gone. What I'm going to do? Why me? She wrote on the night of the infant's death. The next day, Reed posted a message thanking all of her family and friends for their support and said losing her son was the worst pain she's endured in life. She said, I want to thank all of my family, friends, and everyone that may not know me for praying for me. I can't say I'm okay because I'm not, but I can say being a mom of two and losing one is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I just can't wrap my finger around this one. She also posted pictures of baby Jordan and wrote in caption, not waking up to you is killing me, man. So, evidently, she probably showed some kind of regret. But at the same time, women, this is why you make the right choices. When you're having these children and you're dealing with these, these no good men, these no good ninjas, you putting yourself in harm's way, whether you know it or not. And the same with you fellas when you mess with the wrong person. But I'm talking to the women right now. So, what you should do is... Stay by yourself. Focus on you and your child. You already have one one child, Nyla. Then you have the five month old baby. You 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 have too much on your plate right now to be worried about other men. You know what I'm saying? That's why they wonder when they wake up five, ten years later, they're still in the same rut, still in the same hole that they're in because you're not taking care of business. Your business, your your mind should be on your children. Making sure they're taken care of. Don't let nobody come around them. But at the same time, your mistakes and you being very promiscuous out there led to all this happening because you're dealing with somebody who couldn't take that. And I'm sure you knew that this guy was messed up in the head. You're like some of you all right now know that these people that you're messing with, this guy will hurt you if you do something, you know, and some of you guys know that woman will hurt you. So why put yourself in that position when you have children? Now, if you want to put your own life in danger, you have all the right in the world to go do that. But when it comes to the babies, we all have to take a stand for the babies because they're not able to defend for themselves or speak for themselves. You feel me? So we have to stand up for them also. But let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push the like button. If you like, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share the video. Till next time, y'all stay blessed. Love them children. Love them children. You you don't, you don't need no man or no woman. Now, if you find somebody good, that's, that's different. But at the same time, sometimes you got to be happy with being by yourself. When you can be happy with being by yourself, you won't need nobody else. If you get somebody, fine. If you don't, you don't. But guess what? You won't settle for any old piece of trash. Walk by your front door. I'm out.